Now let's test Citrix Receiver for web. And let's see how to access using web browser. So if you remember, there were some settings under storefront that we can use either receiver for web, which is a subset of Citrix receiver, or we can use HTML5. So let's see. So now I type the URL and it's asked me to install this plugin and I allow and Citrix receiver for web it's for username and password. Logged in, and this is the desktop. Uh, this is the delivery group, my virtual desktop delivery group. And under apps, these are the apps. And if I go more, I can add more, which are published to me. Great. Let's try to run calculator mm -hmm. if you remember uh, Citrix and fuse that was you know like a web interface it's a something sort of similar thing it's sort of a similar thing and see ask Permission. I uh, will allow it. Permit to use, and there should be no time in in no time. I should see calculator. Yeah. Good. Let's try with Excel. Yep, Excel 2016 delivered over web using Citrix receiver for web. So this is great for those clients who doesn't have Citrix receiver. They can connect to your Citrix uh, Zen desktop storefront web storefront and they will be given chance to either install receiver or in case if Citrix receiver for web cannot be installed or local installation of Citrix receiver for web fails uh, they can use HTML5 and this is good delivering application over web on internet or intranet that's so cool perfect and let's draw our desktop Where did it go? Oh, <laughs> sorry. It launched in a different window and it was behind my uh, browser window. So I did not realize uh, that's already been launched. So I was surprised that why there is no, you know, response to it. But actually it's already running. Good. So we are delivering desktop over web. Uh, of course, gentlemen's preferred client is Citrix receiver because Citrix receiver for web is limited than Citrix receiver. However, 
it's still good enough for users to access their applications and virtual desktops. And it's all because of Citrix architecture, you know, uh, the ICA protocol, HDX protocol, makes delivery so smooth, so fast. Performance is great. Even in my lab, when I'm doing, you know, using nested virtualization, it's not that bad. Nested virtualization in addition of you know, uh, limited resources, and it's still not that bad. Good. So, we have successfully tested Citrix Receiver for Web, for VDI, as well as for application delivery. Once again, uh, for application delivery, you need to have uh, uh, appropriate licenses for application as well as for your Microsoft Remote Desktop host. Like before, when you install Citrix uh, Presentation Server or Zen App Server, you install remote desktop services and appropriate licenses. So that requirement is still there. Make sure you have uh, appropriate licenses. Uh, but now it's all been integrated in the Zen Desktop. Zen Desktop is Zen App Plus. Zen Desktop can deliver applications as well as it can deliver virtual desktops. You always use the same console, Strix Studio. Um, I'm just roaming around, trying to run, it, trying to run at these applications, and it's so good. Great. So we have successfully tested Strix Receiver for Web. <laughs>